everyone, I'm Gina. St George's Day is on the 23rd of April and this is a special day in England because St George is a patron saint of the country. In this lesson, you're going to learn about the meaning of St George's Day. St George is represented on the flag of the United Kingdom. What part of the flag comes from St George? We'll show you the answer at the end of this video. Although St. George is a patron saint of England, he is not English. He was born in Turkey in the 3rd century and was a Roman soldier. He was a Christian serving under a pagan emperor and was persecuted for his beliefs by being tortured and eventually beheaded. St. George is most famous for the legend of him slaying a dragon. The legend states that he traveled to Libya to save a princess from being sacrificed to a dragon that was terrorizing a village. This myth was attributed to St. George in the 12th century, so long after his death. St. George's Day is not a big occasion in England. It is not a public holiday and any events that are held are usually small community events, such as fairs or parties. You might see the cross of St. George displayed more frequently, but there are no big firework displays. Despite this, the legend of St. George and the infamous dragon is well known throughout England. One of the most popular pub names in England is the George and Dragon. The sign on these pubs usually has a drawing of George slaying the dragon, often in full medieval armour. And now I'll give you the answer to the earlier quiz. St George is represented on the flag of the United Kingdom, but what part of the flag comes from St George? It is the red cross in the middle. This is St George's cross and it also makes up the flag of England. How was this lesson? Did you learn something interesting? What are the origins of the design of your country's flag? Leave us a comment at EnglishClass101.com and we'll see you in the next lesson.